ಸಾಹಿದ್ವಯೇನ ಪ್ರತಿಭಟ ಶಮನೆ ಸಂಘ ಚಕ್ರೇದ ಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದಶಂಕರೋಕಶಂಕರ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಭಾಷಣ ಕರೋತಿ ಜಯಪ್ರಕಾಶ್ ಮಹೋದಯ ಭಾರತ ಅತ್ರ ರಾಜಕೀಯ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಮಹಾವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ವೈಸ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಾಲ್ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಇದೀ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಾಲ್ ಇನ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಜಯಪ್ರಕಾಶ್ ಮಹೋದಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ
नमस्ते अजयकुमार महोदय धन्यवाद इदानीं परीक्षित मेमोरियल भाषण से परीक्षित तंबुरा स्मारक प्रभाषण से आमुख तथा अध्यक्ष भाषण करोति डॉक्टर के जे पौलोस महाशय संस्कृत कॉलेज संरक्षण समिति अध्यक्ष अभी अस्त अग्र केरले अत्र विश्व संस्कृत जगति प्रसिद्ध महोदय महोदय आमंत्रया डर एंड रेस्पेक्टेड डॉक्टर एच आर विश्वास हू हेज ग्रेशियली कंसेंटेड टू डेलीवर दिस इयर्स परीक्षित मेमोरियल लेक्चर डियर डॉक्टर बेलदेवानंद सागर who inaugurates this auspicious function principal dr amala shri jay prakash dr p v ajit kumar shri shankar narayanan amala coordinator dr ishwaran dr sarida mageshwaran scholars students friends and well wishes who hear us from far and near last year we could not conduct we could not conduct this annual lecture due to the pandemic this time also we are not able to do it face to face let us hope that by next year we will be able to celebrate it as ever before as you are aware Tripunthara in central Kerala is a renowned center of Sanskrit learning. The Sanskrit college here was founded by Rajapshi Ramavarma 108 years ago. The rulers of the erstwhile princely state of Kochi were great scholars and promoters of Sanskrit. Our founder. Rajarshi presided over the All India Ayurvedic Conference held in Pune in 1970. After listening to him, his presidential address, Lokamanya Balaganga Thare Dilak, observed, within quotes, "I had heard that His Highness was a scholar among princes, but it is only now that I know." He is a prince among scholars. Unquote. Professor Macdonald compared the Shastra Sadas that the owner had, that the founder had started for the promoting traditional studies to the assembly of King Janaka of olden days. Such was his quest for knowledge. and he efforts to promote ancient wisdom this institution upholds the vision of its founder and continue to conduct the shastra sadas with the dignity every year his nephew parichit maharaja inherited the scholarship erudition and interest of the founder he patronized the institution for a long time in recognition of his deep knowledge the banaras university confirmed on him the title of vachaspati earlier he was honored 
with the titles of Darsana Kalamiti and Abhinava Tarka Vagisha. Parishit belonged to the early generation of Sanskrit scholars who were fortunate to get access to modern studies. Hence, he took the lead to affiliate this institution to university studies by introducing modern subjects in the curriculum. The institution, hitherto considered as a partisala, was elevated to the status of a college in 1962. The college, now with degree, postgraduate and research programs, has a unique status with the rich collection of manuscripts, publication department, etc., etc. The college is owned by the government of Kerala and is affiliated to the Mahatma Gandhi University. The college instituted in 1988 an annual international lecture to commemorate the contributions of Parichit Maharaja and to translate his vision into action. The first lecture was uh, delivered by Dr. Mrs. Kabila Vatsyayan on the arts of Kerala, which was subsequently published in book form. Dr. Sheldon Pollock, U. R. Anandamurti, Dr. Padma Subramaniam, and other celebrity scholars followed to deliver the tax. This is the 30th lecture in this series. Fortunately, this year too, we have with us the renowned scholar, Dr. M. R. Vishwas, to deliver the lecture. Also, he has chosen an interesting topic for his talk, Katha Sahitya. The story of the story literature. We have a variety of narrative traditions, and our sudas, as Roma Harshanas, they are actually called Roma Harshanas, were capable of creating horripulation in their listeners. Incidentally, there is a very interesting anecdote wherein Sri Parvati defines, so to say, the experience of storytelling. Once, a Vedala, this is this story from Vedala Bhajavamsi, 